it's been crazy exciting so far. I mean, I was pretty blown away that uh, when they did the one night only theater release, um, 1500 theaters across the world, that it was sold out in so many theaters. I mean, that was like, oh, this is, people are paying attention to this. And then obviously it launched on Netflix not too long ago. And um, this morning um, I went outside to meet my gardener who just got here and he was like, he didn't even know I ride a bike or used to ride a bike really flipping fast. <laughs> he was like, I saw the movie on Saturday night and he said, I want to change. He said, I don't feel good. He's like, I'm only 30 and I feel like I'm 50. My joints are hurting. I feel inflamed. I can't do my job as well as I used to. I can't climb the tall ladder like I used to. He's like, I don't feel good. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I said, well, you've come to the right place. You know, I was really sick in, in my early 20s with anorexia. Almost lost my life to it a couple of times. And building back from that, um, was the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. Uh, it almost made training for the Olympics seem like child's play. And I remember training really hard, um, you know, for years leading into the Olympic games and just when I would be really, really broken down and really overly exhausted, just thinking like, it's never going to be as hard as it was um, recovering from, from anorexia ever. So I really feel for so many young men and women and even older men and women that are that are their stuff that are suffering and 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 are still in the chains in the confines of of letting eating disorders rule their life and you know the thing about a plant-based diet for me you know you will hear some people say oh it's 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 restrictive it's it's so restrictive or you know and I, I, I just, it's very hard to describe as you know. I mean, you have to kind of lean into it to understand what I'm saying, but it is more freedom than I've ever felt in my entire life with food. I think a big aspect of it is that I know that I'm following, um, I know I'm following my values and I'm staying true to my moral compass, which is just being kind and just not causing violence. I mean, I, 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 I sure, I'm sure I am in some other ways, but I, I, I know that every time I sit down to eat, you know, three or four times a day, that I'm, I'm choosing kindness instead of um, violence and madness. You know, dairy is, uh, it's, it's the most in, invasive, let's call it, it's the most inflammatory, and you will notice the differences if you cut out dairy quicker. Um, then, then you might uh, with meat, although you're going to notice that within weeks. But if you, if, if you have any type of intolerance at all to cow's milk, to either the casein in it or the whey or the lactose, and, and over 70% of the world's population does, and that's a lot of people, only about 2% of the world's population has uh, like a gluten sensitivity. So that is, you know, way over half of our population who can't tolerate or properly digest um, those uh, elements of cow's milk that's in all of dairy. So that right there is a performance enhancer, right? If you're not walking around with a stuffy nose or mucus in your lungs or crampy stomach, you're going to perform better. So, you know, that's the, so there's sort of the simple answer. And then obviously, um, you know, the layers of inflammation that dairy causes is kind of the chronic situation um, that some athletes are in that are, you know, consuming a lot of dairy. And so when you take that out, the inflammation starts to decrease, right? And you're recovering faster um, than you ever were before, which is, you know, in the film multiple times, right? Really recovery and faster recovery, speedy recovery is the golden ticket to, um, you know, output and, and premium performances. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Dossie's an amazing person and it was a real uh, honour to interview her. She runs a fantastic uh, organisation called Switch for Good. I'll put a link to it down below. They've got an amazing podcast, um, got some fantastic educational content and inspirational transformation stories from all kinds of people, in particular athletes of Ditch Dairy, uh, like Dotsy, and has some amazing benefits. So it's super, super cool. If you haven't seen The Game Changers, the film, please watch it. I'll put a link to that down below and please subscribe for more. See you soon.